Well, hey, I'm Brad from churchmediadesign.tv and today we're talking about how do you get media support on flat screen TVs without making the process more complicated than it needs to be so that any volunteer can run that content. So there's a lot of different ways that you can get content to TVs. You can use something like an Apple TV, Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, Roku Box. All of these different products allow you to send content to your TV set. However, most, if not all of them, don't allow you to store that content right on the device. You either have to stream in the content via like Hulu or Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, something like that, or you have to send content from another device like an iPhone, an Android phone, or a computer. So how are we going to simplify this process so somebody doesn't have to have the right device with the right content on it to run their presentations? So what we ended up doing for our kids classroom, our pre-K classroom that wanted to have media support, is we ended up buying a Mac Mini. So we have our Mac Mini hooked up to a TV set via HDMI. The Mac Mini's got HDMI out. And the reason we chose a Mac Mini is because we can utilize ProPresenter. So we can use ProPresenter to show um, loops of graphics, we can show videos, we can do song lyrics, anything we want right inside ProPresenter, just like you would in your regular gathering space. But how do you actually control that content? Do you have a wireless mouse and keyboard? Do you utilize the ProPresenter remote app on an iPad or an iPhone, how are you actually going to click next and play and choose slides and all of that sort of thing? So here's what we ended up doing. We ended up using a standard Apple TV remote. Now the reason we used an Apple TV remote is because it's something that's familiar for anyone, not just somebody who's tech savvy. It's got just a few different buttons on it and it's really easy to control. But ProPresenter doesn't natively use an Apple TV remote. So I'm going to walk you through um, the software side of things on how we got the Apple TV re uh, remote to work, as well as the settings we did on our Mac Mini to make sure it would work at any time and that it's always ready to go for us at a moment's notice. So let's dig in and take a look. So since this computer is connected to a TV without a mouse or keyboard, we need to remotely connect to it to control it and set up some different settings. So I did some of this ahead of time before I hooked it up to the TV, but I'll show you how I have it all set up now so that you can do it with your Mac Mini hooked up to your TV set. So the first thing we're gonna do in a finder window, we're gonna find our computer that we have hooked up on the network and we're going to start a screen share. It's going to ask for a username and password and then we're going to connect to it. So now we're hooked up to our Mac mini computer and we're screen sharing with that and we can control it. Now if you need to set this up, this is how you do that. So we're going to go to system preferences and go to sharing and here you can see where you can name your computer so that you can find it on the network and then I've enabled screen sharing and I've done it only for certain users that way it's a little bit more secure. So that's how you'll go ahead and set up and allow access to that computer via other computers so that you can control it remotely. The one other setting that we need to do is in Energy Saver. I would highly recommend that you set this option to wake for network access and also to start up automatically after a power failure. That way if the computer ever gets unplugged or if you have a power failure, you don't have to go manually restart it. It's always ready to go when you need it. You can also schedule things to happen so that your computer automatically gets restarted right before a Sunday morning or another event that happens on a regular basis in this schedule settings right here. But now let's talk about controlling it with our Apple TV remote. Natively, your Apple TV remote won't work with ProPresenter. You need another application to make it work, and this program's called the Better Touch Tool. You can find the Better Touch Tool at bettertouchtool.net, and you can download it from there, and it's a free program, so you can uh, grab that from that website. Up in the menu bar, you'll see the icon for Better Touch Tool, and I'm gonna go to Preferences. And under Preferences, you'll it'll bring up the program and I'll show you how we have it set up. 
Now at the top here, you'll see a bunch of different input devices that you can change how they function with your Mac. So you can change settings for a magic mouse, trackpads, keyboards, Apple TV remote, the whole nine yards. So I'm gonna select our Apple TV remote and we can make global settings or we can make application specific settings. So I've done some for ProPresenter 5 here and you can see that we've set up some triggers and assignments. So if you needed to make new triggers, you'd go down here and add a new trigger and then we look at our remote buttons and we can set different options here. So we can set options for the up and down keys, but also down while holding that button or up while holding or left while holding. So I've gone through and I've made some different settings here. So you can see that left does left, right does right, up does up and down does down, just like you would expect but I've also set some custom settings. So when you hit the menu button, it actually does the F1 key on a keyboard, which is the clear all function inside ProPresenter. And then when you do the play pause button, um, it does the F6 function, which is uh, the logo button inside ProPresenter. And finally, when you hold the center button, it does command one, which toggles our output on or off. This is really handy since our computer is not set up with dual displays, it's just a singular display. We can um, make ProPresenter go full screen or take it out of full screen to see where we are inside the interface. The only other setting that you need to make sure you have set inside Better Touch Tool is under basic settings here. We want to make sure that this launches on startup. So this program automatically starts up every time our computer starts running. But besides that, you're good to go to start controlling ProPresenter. So we can go in here and our remote, when we hit right or left, it will start toggling these different things. We can show our logo, clear all, all of those different settings that we have to control ProPresenter with our Apple TV remote. Well, that's how you get that whole setup working. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If you have questions or comments, make sure to leave them wherever you're watching this video. And as always, you can find me at twitter.com slash cmdtv and you can email me with your questions, brad at churchmediadesign.tv. Thanks for watching.